guys, it's your girl Sin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button and like this video. It actually helps the channel. Um, so this is going to be in the sign of Libra. Um, please check out any other videos that I do have on my channel, whether it be um, your rising, your moon sign, and maybe possibly your Venus. Um, so a few disclaimer before I go into your reading, if you would like to book a private session with me, it will be linked down below uh, my availability for this month and the following month. Um, then I do uh, spells and rituals over on my Patreon platform if you do want a ritual or a spell. Um, it is a monthly subscription. It's mainly focusing on manifesting money, protection, and self-love. That will be linked down below. I do have an online banana guide. I do sell spiritual goods over on my website. Um, this tarot deck that I carried is also on the website. Um, as far as on the website, smudge sticks, uh, there's also kits as well. Um, spell books will all be down below. Now, Libra, I need you guys to do me a huge favor. Go ahead and leave your emoji down below. Grab your sign in the comment section. So, let's do Libra. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is the devil card. So let's see. Libra. All right, so what's coming out for you, Libra, this month is the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, Ten of Cups, and the star card so this is what I'm seeing for you Libra what I'm seeing is that a lot of you uh, may have been taking on a lot uh, do you feel like a lot of pressure as well or there seems to be a lot of responsibilities or you have a lot of responsibilities so I do feel like there seems to be some sort of pressure um, just maybe possibly taking on more than you can chew as well. Um, I do also feel that some of you may be looking at getting a new car um, or buying something new or just trying to pamper yourself. So there is, and that may be like um, your way of coping with stress or anxiety is by you spending um, a lot of money on yourself. So I do feel like, or spending, or just buying something, is a, it's like an instant gratification is what I'm, what I'm getting. Um, so I do feel like a lot of you may be, you know, doing that, just buying yourself something new. And that may be possibly a car or that may be anything. But I do feel like you're gifting yourself something after feeling some sort of pressure. Um, I do also feel like if you have been manifesting some sort of project or um, trying to manifest some sort of job opportunity or if you're unemployed um, or if you're just trying to manifest um, creativity, I do feel like that's going to happen. Um, I do feel like you are getting something that you may have wished for, prayed for, subconsciously manifested. Um, now, I also feel like this is something that's part of your destiny, something that's part of your fate. So it is saying for you to kind of just go with the flow of things. Don't really try to control or manipulate how things happen. Just simply live this journey that you are going through spiritually. Um, and also, but also implementing those boundaries as well, which seems to be very imperative with you because maybe you have a hard time saying no. Now, I do feel like there is someone that may be coming towards you. Now, this is mainly the sign that I'm getting as far as your reading is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, a lot of water and a lot of earth. Um, I'm seeing that there may be someone that's coming in to communicate with you. Um, I do feel like there seems to be some sort of resistance with this person. They may be res resisting speaking to you or you are trying to do that with them. But there seems to be like um, having to kind of like hold back or purposely trying to hold back from a particular person. And I do feel like there may be someone around you who may be very manipulative. Um, this can be verbally, like someone can be verbally abusive or someone may um, 
have a way of verbalizing things and it coming off very harsh or very blunt or um, sometimes very um, impactful but in a negative sense so someone may have the ability to just do that like hit below the belt um, and also like going around hurting people's feelings like it's like someone is they have like a bad side to them getting Jekyll and Hyde this is what I'm getting um, so someone has a, a, a way of playing words or expressing things and it coming off too harsh or too rough or too stern um, and maybe that to some people that is a form of verbal abuse so I feel like there is a little bit of that going on there may be possibly someone that may also want to reconcile and this person may be coming towards you alright so let's look into the ten of wands okay So I do feel like there, again, I'm getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There may be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn um, coming towards you. This may be someone that's very calculative. This may also be someone who is also very crafty. Um, they, they know how to get their way with you or they know how to kind of get in your good graces. Like I just feel like someone is very crafty. The Magician card isn't here, but the way that this Queen of Pentacles is looking to me or symbolizing is just that someone knows it is very manipulative they know what they're saying they know what they're doing and i do feel like someone is also good at getting their way without having to try so this is definitely giving me magician vibes even though the magician is not out um and i do feel like someone may be reaching out to you to you multiple times and i do feel like it's starting to cause some sort of pressure now this can be pressure in a relationship this can be pressure just like you solely yourself just a lot of pressure or this can be like a group of people but i'm i'm feeling like someone is feeling pressured by an earth sign that seems to be trying to get their way um i do feel like this person is going to be reaching out out of the blue if they haven't done so just yet i just feel like there's going to be some sort of quick communication so this can possibly through be through text messaging um a phone call or like a dm but i feel like it's like someone is it's, it's fast movement so it's not something that um takes time to get through to you or it takes time to get your attention so i do feel like this may be like a text or a dm I'm not getting a phone call, but I just said phone call just in case someone may re resonate with that. Um, but I'm seeing like DMs or text messaging and I do feel like there's going to be some sort of like hitting someone up or kind of getting some sort of, hey, big head text. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. I do feel like this person is very calculative. So I will say just be very careful because I do feel like someone may be trying to manipulate or trying to coerce. Uh, someone yeah someone is definitely trying to coerce you in some way or you may be trying to coerce someone just take it how it resonates with you this is like a collective reading all right so let's look into the ch ah shoot let's look into the chariot Yeah, I feel like someone is just coming off as temptation. There seems to also see, seems to be also some sort of miscommunication with this person. Um, I just feel like someone is being very sneaky um, about their approach as well. And I do feel like this may be someone that you may have unfinished business with um, or you may have had some sort of connection to or um, there may have been a, a soul contract at one point with this person. Um, I do feel like if there is something that is being withheld from you or someone is not being honest with you, I do feel like that is going to be exposed or there's going to be some sort of conversation about that. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some sort of resurfacing of someone and they're coming in very quickly or trying to course you in some sort of way. All right, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Alright, one more card. Let's see 
one more. Okay. So I feel like the universe is also trying to get your attention. There also may be like you getting some sort of channel message from the universe, like having some sort of a epiphany or some sort of premonition. Um, and it may be about this earth sign. Now, as far as your finances, I do feel like there is something about you either leaving your job or this may be possibly another financial opportunity coming into um, kind of replace an existing job so for example you work at a company you're very comfortable but another offer seems to come in and it's more lucrative than the offer that you currently have with your company so I do feel like that may happen like your income is being replaced by another source of income um, and I do feel like a lot of you may be possibly like budgeting or holding on to your money I'm seeing a lot of saving which is really good um, so Some of you may be opening a savings account as well um, Or opening some sort of new account um, Or adding a lot of money into another account <laughs> So it, I'm seeing all of that But I'm seeing that a new account or a new savings account is being opened Or maybe you are doing that for a child Let's look at the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Right. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, you're going to come to some sort of realization that it's toxic or manipulative in some sort of way you may have been also manipulated into marrying someone that may be a specific message for someone someone may have in the dating phase may have portrayed themselves one way but then when you got married it's like a flip of a, a switch that's why i got jekyll and hyde early in the beginning um so i don't know if someone's dealing with someone like that i just feel like someone is also it's like being i'm okay this is going to be the title of your reading being coerced. Um, by Jekyll and Hyde. So, because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that as far as this reading, like, and I do feel like you're going to come to some sort of realization with that. You're going to realize that someone has also two sides to them too, because I do feel like someone may come off to you one way, but then when you're not in the room, maybe you're not around, they're kind of different. Um, so I feel like someone has. It's not. I don't feel it's like split personality or bipolar. I just feel like someone had. They're wearing a mask. Someone is definitely wearing a mask when they're around you and then when you're not around, they took off their mask and they're a completely different person. So I feel like that is what's happening. This is also someone who could possibly be a playboy or playgirl. Like someone who's just like, likes to play around. They're not really serious. All right, let's look into the star card. Star card was the last card. So. Right. so, I do feel like a lot of you are also creating a lot of boundaries. I do feel like there seems to be also be some sort of clarity that you're receiving from the universe, and whatever you're seeing is triggering you. Again, that's why I said you might be coming to some sort of realization that you have been coerced, or that you have gotten yourself into a situation that you possibly can't get out of. Um, that's for maybe a specific person, but I'm getting that message. Um, I'm just getting that someone is also coming to some sort of realization about. Um, the people around them or this may be some sort of news or message that comes out um, it, I'm, it is saying for you to make some sort of decision and to take your time with this decision don't feel like you know don't be easily manipulated into making some sort of decision that you're also not comfortable making um, as well um, it is saying for you to also go into some sort of isolation um, so I do feel that you're having to isolate yourself or come to some sort of realization by isolating, isolating yourself. So I do feel like that is happening. Um, you're coming to some sort of realization. You might be doing a lot of studying as well or trying to understand why things keep happening the way they keep happening in your life. There seems to be going to, even like a lot of you may be going through a, some sort of deep meditation as well. And through meditation, you're, there's going to be something that you're going to realize that is shocking to you or um, you're going to realize that you know it's like having an epiphany and just like damn like why didn't i notice this 
like why am I just coming to some sort of realization and I feel like it's because spirit has given you some sort of um, message during your sleep or the you know it's I'm getting like access granted like you now have the ability to have um, this enlightenment or to gain this knowledge you're now prepared to gain this particular knowledge Ugh, that's so beautiful to see um, <laughs> but I feel like someone is also coming to some sort of enlightenment as well like a spiritual uh, breakthrough Okay, let's do the Ace of Pentacles. I, I don't think I did that card, so that's why. I just want to go over that one. I'm getting nosy all of a sudden. I really want to know. I'm fully invested. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. There seems to be... Um, Again, you might be hiding your money. Um, I do feel like you are also going to come up with some sort of an idea. This might be for my scammers, but I'm going to say it because this is what I'm seeing. But someone is like possibly coming up with some sort of new get quick, get quick, has it? Those get money quick schemes. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to say that. <laughs> Oh, loud. But I feel like that is someone is coming to some sort of idea or trying to formulate an idea of trying to get like a quick money scheme or something like that. And I do feel like there seems to be like a disconnect with with more, like some of you um, as far as what to do creatively. There seems to be some sort of blockages with that or the universe may be trying to kind of like communicate that to you. But I'm seeing that something is being lost in translation. Now, I'm also seeing that there is a water sign. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio came up earlier and now it's back. Um, that there is going to be some sort of miscommunication between you and a water sign. Um, I'm seeing that there also seems to be like you marrying each other as well. The universe may be trying to conspire something between you and this water sign. Maybe possibly um, get you to realize something or to maybe possibly formulate a, a soul connection with you in a water sign. But I feel like there seems to be something lost in translation. So I feel like, I feel like there's, some, there's I'm seeing like a TV, a TV scramble, like, shh, like that's what I'm getting. Like there seems to be some sort of disconnect between you and spirit. So I feel like you guys are needing to come to some sort of one accord. And I do feel like you and spirit are kind of like not connecting in a way to make things fluid just yet in your life. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much all that I'm seeing for you, Libra. Please wrap your emojis down below. If you would like to book a full session, it will be linked down below so you can see my availability for this month and the next. Um, if you want a spell ritual over on my Patreon platform, you can join the tribe over there, Manifesting Money, Self Love and Protection. Also, if you want to shop with me, I, you know, the deck that I use today will be on the website and so much more, so much kits, crystals, samples, I have it all. It will be uh, linked down below. If you do want to cash app me an energy um, exchange for this reading because it takes a lot of energy out of me and I have to edit and all of those things, um, you can just cash app me. Um, but this is pretty much all that I'm seeing, Libra. Hopefully this resonates with you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.